Why would I be sad for Doom Eternal to turn two? And is there something bigger to this picture here? I think there is. Let's talk about that. And by the end of this video, I hope to have you motivated to absolutely go out there and rip and tear to celebrate this birthday. So over these past two years that this game has come out, man, we have seen so much. The community has grown way beyond what we ever thought it would. I mean, hey, when I was playing for the very first day, I got five and a half hours in to the cultist base pit, everybody's favorite Ultra Nightmare Arena. Am I right? And then I'm like, you know what? I said this. I said that Doom Eternal won't see as many Ultra Nightmare completions as Doom 2016 because it was too dang hard. What? No way. Now we have so many more players and so many more clears. Was I wrong? Yeah, I was. But when you look at some of the early gameplay, we didn't fully understand what this game had to offer. We were playing it like 2016. Maybe some people were playing it like Call of Duty or some other shooters. And the fact is, when it comes to Doom Eternal, you can't do that. It is the fun zone that you have to put yourself into, and you know what? We weren't doing that. So when we look back at this early footage, we see gameplay that was trying its hardest but hadn't understood the Doom Dance yet. Yes, now, two years later, we have started to understand this dance, and there's still so much more that's even being found to this day, like the crazy shield raise or yeet bash technique that uses a chain gun shield as a extremely dangerous riot shield. Anyway, see all this stuff that's coming out that we never knew about. It is sad, though, in a way, but it's also bittersweet. It's sad because the player counts are down, and they probably won't see those day one numbers. But hey, you know what? That's normal for most games, right? And you know, we see all of these things, and we grow in all these ways, and the game is further along than it's ever been. Look at all the mods that we have, and all the player skills that have developed and learned this game. And even if you don't have mods, like on the console, you can still learn this Doom dance. It says something about a video game when you can spend two years refining your techniques and learning new things every day and really diving deep, making videos two years later and talking about the things involved and the mechanics and everything into it, that says something. It is not a shallow game that you can play for 15 minutes, know it all, and then put it away on the shelf never to be seen again. No, Doom Eternal asks the player, they demand the player to learn its mechanics or you will be punished. So when we look at it that way, it really makes you think, doesn't it? I know it does me. It's not so much just sad. It is. Yes, there is no denying that. But it's also bittersweet. What do I mean by that? If something is bittersweet, it is both bitter and sweet. Obviously, but what? <laughs> What I mean by that is that it is sad that it is getting older, yes, but it is sweet that we have seen all of this growth behind it. Now I'm going to flip to the face cam here and give you a really neat example that you're going to either get right away or it'll take a second to sink in, then you're going to be like, dude! All right, let's check the face cam. Now this next example is gonna be something that you're gonna be like, wow, I've never looked at it that way before, or yes, I get that, man. So Doom Eternal has turned two. We've seen a start here and go all the way here, and it's kind of sad, as we've talked about, but it's also bittersweet. And this is gonna sound crazy, right? But as a parent, you see your kid over these years go from these major life milestones and really are proud of them for it. Now, what's really cool is I grew up on the 90s with Doom. My kid has seen Doom streams as early as one day old because I was watching them and holding this kid, right? So my childhood is connected to Doom just as this child's childhood is somehow connected to Doom as well. So to see them both grow together takes me right back to the 1990s in comparison because that's what I grew up on. How crazy is that? You know, it really is a timeless game. This game, Doom Eternal, is one that I can see being played for years to come. But how come, even if there's no official modding? Yes, it is true that modding has kept classic Doom very much alive, which, hey, let's be honest, it's still fun even without mods. But the thing about it is, this game will be different than the one to follow, just like Eternal was different than 2016. So even if we don't get Doom Eternal 2 and 3, which we won't, and I totally would buy them, by the way, we're going to get a new experience. So what Eternal is actually makes it unique in its own self. Eternal stands on its own. It will not be the next Doom game, nor the one before it, nor the ones from 20 and 30 years ago. It will be something that if you want that Doom Eternal Fun Zone experience, you're going to have to play Doom Eternal for that experience. And that is special. That really makes it stand out. And really, if you think about it, it is often imitated, never duplicated. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. 
but that's just the part of it. You're not going to get the Doom Eternal experience no matter what game you play. Try as they might, you're just not going to get it. And so to look at this game, looking at the classics, how they came through in the 90s, and they were so important and so pivotal in video game history, and now we have Doom Eternal doing the same thing. 30 years later. And another reason why a lot of us owe a lot to Doom Eternal is, hey, I've been on YouTube for about four years now, and it wasn't until Eternal came out that my channel grew to some degree. I'm not a huge YouTuber, honestly, but I have Doom Eternal to thank for being that backbone, being that core of bringing the channel to where it has come to and all of the opportunities that it has afforded me and meeting people and everything all comes back to Doom Eternal. And when you think about it, it's not just me that is in this situation. We can all relate to this in some degree. That really puts Doom Eternal in a different light, doesn't it? I know, I know, I can already hear the critics now. Doom Eternal is not a perfect game. Look at all the bright, candy-colored insides of the demons. This is too bright and happy. This is not Doom. Yeah, it's not. It's not trying to be, that's the thing. Do I wish that it had the aesthetic of 2016 a little darker at times, like the Last Labs halls? I mean, yeah, I'd love to play 2016 in Eternal, but the fact of the matter is, it is not. It is its own game, it stands on its own, it will be played for years to come. And I think that when we go back earlier to what I said in this video about that parent comparison, how it's got that childhood connection, that nostalgia for those of us old dudes that grew up with this game, that is a great connection. Doom Eternal has taken the classic series, changed it up. Yes, it's different. There are no incidental hallway encounters the same way that Classic did it. Yeah, and it would be cool to play those styles in the modern feel. There are mods like EOA in Brazil Armageddon, but I mean actually in the game itself. It's not trying to be them. I think, even though it is not perfect, I, no one can say that Doom Eternal is perfect, right? We really just can't. But for all of its shortcomings, for all of the things that we laugh about, I still think it is worth our time to play. I have over 800 hours in the game. Now this includes recording for footage, sitting in the menu, and all those things. So really, if you think about it, our player count hours aren't accurate, unless I'm the only person in the world to sit in the menu. Look, do you sit in the menu, or is this just me? I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person, right? But when we look at all the mods and all the things that have come, this game is not going to die. People say Doom Eternal is dead. No, it's not. Just because a game does not get as many plays, as many views, as it did before, does not mean it's dead. It doesn't. Is it played less? Yeah, of course it is. It's two years old. Will it continue to be played less in the future? I mean, it's the life cycle of a game. It's only probably natural. But to say that it is dead is not true, and it is a lie. A dead game is one that's ripped off the internet that you can't play anymore, maybe like multiplayer servers of a multiplayer-only game, unless there's a private server you can do. But Doom Eternal is not dead, and it will never be dead. I am really resisting making the joke that people say, Oh, Doom is eternal! I mean, yeah, it kind of is. Because that cheesy, cheeky line that we've said all this time, talking about the fun zone, talking about Doom Eternal being dead versus never dying, all the experiences that only we will get in this two-year-old game will stand together. Now, when you're looking at this game, if you're on the younger side of the crowd, I'm in my 30s, if you're on the younger side, if you're like 16, 17 playing this game, you're going to look back in 20 years and say, you know what, Doom Eternal is one of my all-time favorite games. That is one that I sunk a lot of time into that I'm never going to forget about. I might not play it as much as I used to because I've moved on to other things that take the brunt of my time. I may have moved on, I may have gotten a job, I may have gotten married, whatever it might be, but Doom Eternal will always be in your mind. I know it will because I've been there. When I was a teen growing up, we had Final Fantasy VII, I had RuneScape, I had Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I may not play those games like I do then versus now, but I've not forgotten about the impact that they have had on myself as a gamer. I would gladly show my kid that, I totally would. And in fact, just to prove my point further to you why Doom really is eternal, the other day I was watching a video, I started binging some content and speedruns for Final Fantasy Legend 2. This is a game I've not touched in years that came out for the original Game Boy in 1990 and 91. But still, that music, that theme song, it's not lost on me. I remember it, I remember playing, I go through the story watching the speedrunner, I remember it all and what it had. And just like all of these things have done this for me, Doom Eternal will do this for you. So yes, Doom Eternal is too, but it will never die because Doom, <laughs> Doom is eternal. Come on now. Be sure to check out my video about Tag 2 and the one year anniversary we just had for it. Subscribe for more. I'm Austin. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of this community. Now get out there and rip and tear.